this is day 167 and today we are looking at how we can make use of artificial intelligence that is uh, embedded in Excel to help us analyze data. So one thing I like about Excel is that it's continuously being updated and uh, they are taking it serious and they try each and every time to make it look better and feel better to the users as well. So one feature they added I think previously they were calling it ideas, but now they are calling it analyzed data. So when you have a spreadsheet like this, as you can see, I have my students here and I have their marks here for each of the months. I can make use of the analyzed data to help me analyze data. So suppose it's someone who want to do a quick analysis of data and you don't really understand how to or which dimension or from which angle to look at your data from and you just want to summarize it somehow and see if you it can make sense or it can derive any meaning to you. So you can make use of this functionality here. So you can open the analyze data here. And as you click it, it will start to suggest some visualizations you can see. For example, here you can see that it, it's trying to do a graph here to show uh, each of the candidates and their marks here. Uh, you can see for the month of Oct October here, there are different visualizations. You can see there are all 17 results. Let's just pick one visualization to make use of. Okay, let's say I pick this one and I say insert chart. So you can see with my chart here, I can see all my students for the month, Feb, March, and November. The lesser columns you have or the lesser different uh, data sets you have, the better. So if I had three months, it would have plotted my three months here. And I can just go on and select the only month I want to work with. So for example, if I just want to work with this month, then I can just say apply. Then I can see, okay, I can compare my students for the month of February. And... If I want to only work with March, I can just apply and look at February. So it's helping me now to visualize. I can see who is the highest candidate from the visualization here. And I can see who is the lowest. And I can see, for example, who is below average. So whoever is below 50, I can see clearly the people who are below 50. So that really helps me to sort of summarize my data without having to think much of what visualization do I want to see? I just had to go and look uh, at the visualizations that they have here on the side here. And if I feel like this visualization is better, I can just insert it and sort of compare the visualizations as well. So here we are just looking at candidate 16. And you can see you can start dragging and looking at different candidates. You can start dragging it around and look at different candidates. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button so that you can be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.